Hey guys, how's it going? My name is AJX29. Drake, what? Uh, hey, buddy. Alright, so my name is AJX29, and I'm doing something very rare for me. I'm doing a toy review. I don't do these. I started collecting my favorite st series in the DC, which is the Lanterns. As you guys know, I'm a big Lantern fan. I have both the blue and the red, and I intend to getting tattooed across my back. So, without further ado, I actually have three figures here I'm going to slightly review, and then one I'm kind of going to pick apart. So... Without further ado. Alright, so, really quick, these are the three figures I'm going to be... Alright, so, sorry about the shakiness of this, I'm doing this off my phone, because my webcam decided to die. Like, literally, it just up, it won't respond no more. Anyway, moving on. These are the three figures that I've, re I've already gotten. The Yellow Lantern, Blackest Night Scarecrow, Guy Gardner, and the Black Hand. Now... These things are incredibly stiff with some crazy detail in their faces and everything. I mean, Guy Gardner even came with a, a blooded style chainsaw construct. The face, they are like super, super stiff. But you get some awesome detail. You can see the ring on his finger. He actually has both the red and green rings. If I, I wanted to, I could take this off, but that would be a bad idea. Like they, they went all out, even sculpted his boots. Like there's even tread lines in there. He's super, he's like really heavy and super stiff. So these are, oh, thought I took him out there for a second. They're more display than anything. They're not meant for much else other than display in like a single pose. But yeah, even like even the stand is pegged in there pretty good. So, I mean, the same thing with Scarecrow here. He's got some wonderful looks to him if you like Scarecrow. I mean, I kind of just got him to... See, I got a yellow lantern. I'm not exactly a big Batman fan. Which brings me to this guy. I'm going to put him on the lower shelf real quick. All right. So, which brings me to... God damn. Okay. Which brings me to Black Hand, the former leader. I literally had... I just got him. Just unboxed him. And as you guys may or may not... Okay, I got to set that in there. Just... Okay. So as you guys may or may not know, I don't do unboxing videos. I don't do them very often, I'm starting to. But I mostly do games. <laughs> I love the way he looks, like there's some incredible detail with him. Like even the veins in his arms and everything. But there's two things I absolutely cannot stand. As you can clearly see, Batman's little skull here. It's cool. It's, you know, it's dead, it's dead fucking Batman. Well, Batman's clone, or if you haven't read it, it's... Yeah, he, he uses Batman's skull. But look at this thing, it literally just... Well, that's... Oh, the floor, hang on. Okay. It just sits there, It there's no... Nothing to grip. So if I bump the table... Well, I mean, okay, so it'll hold. I don't like it. Personally, I wish there was like a little peg you could put it in there, but you know, that's just me. It even looks like there was a slot for the peg, but they kind of just put this gooey, 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 gooey plastic. Like, this feels like goop. There, There is no other terminology other than the, the green goopiness that is Batman skull. And the other thing, he is, okay, I'm going to try and set this up, but <laughs> use one hand and if you guys can hear this. He has some insanely stiff articulation. His head kind of turns, and as you can see, the chest doesn't move at all. So you get to pose him once in this menacing, nice menacing pose like these two. But at the same time, and they also come with their own each individual stand. You know, red lantern, yellow lantern, black lantern. Neat and all, but his fucking stand. Again, I have owned this thing 10 minutes. He turned once and broke the peg. Like, literally, that's as far as he went. I was pushing him down, trying to get both feet situated. Because putting that in there, that is never coming out. Ever. Like, I even tried getting needle nose pliers, and I was going to remake it. I would have to actually drill that out. Which I don't really want to do. 
all in all, I can't even put the skull up here. Like, I... Well, that happened. Get you back up there. I know I'm using, like, I actually am using a Yu-Gi-Oh! dual board thing down here, but that is, that's my mouse pad. It's a giant mouse pad to me. All in all, he's not a bad figure. It's just... Like, I don't like that. I wish I would, this was more secure. I mean, even Scarecrow holds the damn thing in his hand. So I'm like, Guy Gardner, we had to force it, but they're in his tiny, tiny plastic fist. He's just like, here, I have pie. I have a dead Batman glowing goopy go pie. Anyway, I'm probably going to do some more of these, uh, have some more fun with this stuff, because I got some awesome Spider-Man figures that I haven't opened up. I just kind of hung them up. But I, I am starting to collect Green Lantern, Blackest Night series figures. Because that's pretty much my only favorite out of the whole DC Universe is Lantern. I'm okay Batman fan, but uh, I won't. I like the Lanterns so much more because they have limitless possibilities. I am getting more. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. I, it sounds like I'm out of breath because I am. It's really hot in here. I just... That... Anno what the hell? What the hell is... That is just, it's like hilarious. I don't even know what these are. I don't know if this attaches to something. It, it does not say. Like they're on both sides. I think this is where the mold was. Like, like maybe it was supposed to dangle. According to this, like I actually have his Dead Shall Rise paper right behind me. And it literally is just supposed to sit there. And he's supposed to be looking up. Can he look up? Let's let's see. Can drop fucking Batman skull again. No, he he is not looking up. He can look left or right. Actually, that, that's not bad. All things considered, but he is not looking up for nothing. This is actually harder than it seems. Like, I don't know. Shit. Anyway. <laughs> I should probably get, like, a professional camera stand to do this shit. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, so far, Guy Gardner is my favorite. I will be getting my personal favorite lantern, which I'll reveal later. But so far, out of these three, Guy Gardner is definitely my favorite. Anyway. See you guys next time. I'm going to try and get him working later. And set up in a proper setting. Take it easy, have a good one, and I'll see you next time.